Welcome back to another episode of the Hoodie and the Headband Podcast Show. It's your boy, Headband B-Dub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I keep switching it up, man. Gotta keep switching it up on you, man. But yeah, it's your boy, Bryce Warner, Headband B-Dub. Back with another episode. It's your boy. I don't know what to do. That's what I do. Let me call this true, yeah. You know, we're messing up. We're saying some weird shit. And it's episode 100. Well, Chamberlain numbers. <laughs> We're on numbers, baby. Yes, sir. Episode 100, man. Damn, boy. Wow. You know, hey. You know, I'm not going. Damn, hold on. I mean, we got we over, over 100 episodes of content, but it's the 100th episode of. The Hoodie mm-hmm. Head Man podcast mm-hmm. show. So that being said, um, Tariq, I gotta ask you, how you doing? You know, I'm good, man. Uh, got up early from the gym this morning. Got some shots in. You know, went to work. My normal routine. Was able to get my grocery order in last night. God was looking out because they was like, "Oh, I'm gonna be able to get there till Friday." I was like. Friday and it's like you only gotta pay five dollars more for Express. I was like, let me get that since it came at like eight o'clock. So it was only like an hour later. I was like, I would have had to wait for Friday if I was being cheap. Mm. But what do you do? Instacart? Just, uh no, nah, just Walmart delivery. Oh, Walmart delivery yeah. on the website. It's easier that way. Because I got one that's like five minutes, literally five minutes down the road. So yeah. um but yeah. I got back locked in for the pod. I had to listen to some music. I ain't listened to the Travis Scott album. I've only listened to the Final Decision one. And I skipped it for every time. Uh, uh, so we time. got on. I heard Future. I was like, huh, when you start bumping Future? And I, I, I heard the song future. and I was like, oh, okay. It's set the part. Yeah. I said, oh, he bumping that. He bumping I heard that. somebody posted it on their story yesterday. And I was like, huh, is that still? I was like, let me go to that song real quick. And then I played it, and I was like, "Yeah." Don't say I don't care what that the, the rest of the album sound like at all. Not right now. I don't. I was like, "Damn, this is a long ass song, bro." When she gonna start singing? So I start fast forward, fast forward, and I heard, "I can't." I was like, "All right, let me back up just a little bit, so I can get like deleted." I was like, "Oh, this shit kind of tough." Replay, it. replay. It. Now I was like, "All right, let me go to something else." I think it like played the next song one time, and I was like, "Oh, that's not too bad." And then I went back. Bro, you gotta start the you gotta start it from the beginning. I'm all listen, I'm right. the person that has to listen to an album in order. I mean I've that's know many people I know many people for starting the album or listen to an album out of order on the first listen. That takes away that Oh take- no, I would never if I'm listening to the whole thing, I'm not gonna start doing it. But I just say But that, I knew I wasn't about to listen to the whole thing, so I was like, yeah. I gotta hear something first. I just say somebody I'm not gonna name any names, but somebody be like, somebody, somebody be listening to albums out of order, and I'll be like, how the hell do you do that? Why do you do that? Do that. They do put that. a track, they have a track list, and the uh, songs yeah. are in order for a reason. They're not made in that. It order. takes me a while to shuffle. Well, albums they're in that order and a reason. Like if I shuffle an album, it's gotta be like two, three years down the line. Only time I used to listen to albums on shuffle is whenever I didn't have a uh, Spotify Premium uh, when I was yeah, in high school. I didn't have Spotify you Premium. Had no choice. Uh, you had no choice. Hey, the first time I listened to Rodeo was out of order. I can't lie to you. Uh, yeah, Rodeo was Rodeo was different. Rodeo was tough though. I I ended up getting like buying. That, that's probably my, that's that's for sure my favorite album of his. Yeah. Word. Every song that I think goes. But how how much you been? Man, I'm good. I kick a play, bro. Um, just been working on a lot of things. Just keeping busy, staying busy, man. That's me, busy B. Since the day I came into the earth, busy bee. <laughs> but yeah, like I said, man. Um, dang, I was kind of short. Uh, but yeah, I'm doing good. I listened to the full Travis Scott project. It's a good album. It's one of the ones. One of the ones. Huh? I mean, of this year, but it's oh, a good. That album. ain't hard to live up to. Huh? That ain't hard to live up to. It's not. It's year. not. The music been trash this year. I've been looking like, damn, am I not listening to a lot Uzi of music? album was kind of trash. Really I ain't going to cap. I ain't give Uzi album a chance. I listened to that first song. Who? I said, it's Uzi. 
Oh, no, I thought you said Uzi. I, I was about to say, no way you bought some Boosie in 2020. Dude. But no, I gave Uzi's album, I didn't give it that much of a chance, but I listened to the first song. And I was like, bro, what the hell is this, bro? And I was like, nah, I can't get down with this. I didn't even know that nigga dropped the album. And everybody else said it was trash, but you had a hype you saying it was like, oh, he he missed or whatever. Da, 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 da. But all in all, though, I mean, it's been a cool week. Um, yeah, just another week of living, <laughs> figuring it out. But yeah, like I said, aha, episode 100. Yeah, sir. Yeah, sir. Honey, baby. Right uh, I'm just gonna screen this. Right I'm gonna just gonna screenshot this, and, 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 and <clears throat> I'm just gonna screenshot this and post it. <laughs> yeah, so hundred episodes down with the hoodie and the headband, um, officially. Um, man, what a journey! It's been two years and some change. No, yeah, eight no, my years yet. Yeah. Coming up on two years. Yeah. Well, we've been potting for two years, but two years with this show yeah. will be in October. So we started in what May twenty twenty one. We started in May twenty twenty one. Yes, yeah. like sure. a week after I graduated, we started on. That's a fact. Dang, That's we started on. Lo- we started doing shows on locker rooms. Shit's crazy. Niggas couldn't even see each other. We was just chatting, chatting, bro. Because we was in the locker room, so so. All right, I downloaded. I remember. I'm just going to go through the journey. So I remember I downloaded Locker Room All Star Weekend 2021 because I was like, all right, what is this mm-hmm. app? God, I think Clubhouse was around. And mm-hmm. I didn't have Clubhouse. Or did I have Clubhouse? I might have had Clubhouse. I might have had Clubhouse. I, I don't know. But I know Clubhouse was around and that was big. And that was like, you know, a big thing, whatever. And then um that was more for like celebrities and stuff, bro. That was more like influencers and stuff. But so Clubhouse was cool. And then I was I saw this other app. It's like basically Clubhouse for sports. So I said, Oh, let me get on here. And this is like still doing COVID times because it's 2021. And I'm not out and about. Like I'm in my dorm room. Just I'm trying to get it locked back down at that point. Huh? Like, it opened up, and then it locked back down again. Yeah. Like, well... Like, the second or third time that people were on lockdown, and people were really excited again. Yeah. Because it, like, opened up, because it was what? It was, like... Because things started to open up in 2021. Yeah. Like, when yeah. I was in Charleston, like, they, you know, they closed clubs down at 11. But I want to say, like, mm-hmm. end of February, beginning of March, they started opening things up again. To where like, when I moved when I moved people, back here and, and it just locked going. down again. Yeah. So they started opening things up regular and moving as such. I mean, still, you know, quarantine, mass, vaccine shots. We're getting we're rolling out at the time. But yeah, so um <clears throat> I got on the app like February because it was all star break. And I remember I was in a room with RJ Hampton. RJ Hampton was like one of the basketball players they were like promoting through the app. It was like him, Andre Iguodala, maybe somebody else that I'm missing. But yeah, I remember being in rooms with them, not talking, just listening, because it's just like yeah. it's like a lot of people talking, whatever. So I, I, you know, I would get my homework done or whatever after class or whatever, and just hop on the app. Room came up, whatever. We'd be talking about, and the thing was talking about basketball at the moment, you know. Um, trying to think, I was. That was after the bubble. So that was the shortened season. That was a weird season because that was right after the bubble. And that's when the season started in, like, December, mm-hmm. like a week before Christmas. That was that season. The fast, like, that's whenever, yeah, because everybody was talking about how the that was the Devin Booker year. Yeah. Everybody was talking about how the Heat and the Lakers had the shortest offseason ever being, like, two months removed mm-hmm. from playing. So, Remember that mad injuries that year. Uh, but yeah, good conversations. March Madness that year we watched as a locker room fam. That's when everybody was starting. Yeah, if I say that's when everybody started to tune in the women's March Madness, like women's basketball for real, for real, for real, for real. Because mm-hmm. that was Paige's first year in the in the Wishman call in the tournament. That was Caitlin's first year in the tournament. Stanford was nice that year. South Carolina was nice that year. So yeah, that was yeah that South Carolina's team first time in the tournament too. Um. Oh, shebang, and then we was like, 
me and Tariq already had plans to do a podcast a long time ago. Like, mm-hmm. I was still in college, and Tariq was still in South Carolina. And we was going to do it summer of 2020. We was going to do it. But... Like, yeah, that's COVID, fast. We was going to... I remember that, now. I say COVID we hit, and we was just like, dang, how are we going to do it? Because like, I thought, listen... My whole thing was, all right, we're going to set this up in my, like, we're going to set this up in my garage. We're going to do this mm-hmm. weekly, whatever. I don't know what it's going to be called yet. Because, see, we was already doing, like, the uh, blog thing for a little minute. You know, uh, Hoop Dialogue was the name of the blog. Because it was, like, Bryce's basketball blog. Because <laughs> I didn't know what the name is. I just named it Bryce's basketball blog. I run on there from time to time, you know, home my skills while I was out of school. Or to talk about other things pertaining to basketball other than like covering my school just gave me a different outlet um that was cool and then we went on to do I was like yo Tariq you want to you know you want to hop on top women's because Tariq was on the women's stuff way before I was and so he was already like locked in I mean like I knew players and I watched games from time to time but I didn't really lock in until like a couple years after that and so Tariq was already locked in I mean like I said, I already was watching games and new players and tuned in for the most part, kept track for the most part, but Tariq was still more tapped in than I was at the moment. But um but yeah. Um so we did that. Started on locker room. And then, you know, locker room was all right. It did. It was some it was some reason why. We left locker room, or I don't know. They didn't send a recording. I think that's what it was. They forgot to. It was send like it was, like, it was multiple recordings. It, it was multiple recordings. But I don't think it was locker room. It I think like, maybe they switched to Spotify Green Room, or Spotify. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was Spotify Green Room. Yeah, it was Green. They switched to Spotify Green Room. They started messing up a little bit, and then Spotify Green Room was acting a little weird with the creators and stuff. It's like, bro, we've been on this app. Like, give us some credit. Like, you giving credit to where influencers or whatever like we've been on the app holding things down for a while before y'all came in and bought the app so uh shout out to howard howard created legendary app created many things spawned from that that app so but yeah um yeah so, right that, yeah could be okay it wouldn't be a thing if it went for it Everybody had their own thing on multiplicity. Like everybody that's on multiplicity right now, well, except for Jacob. Yeah. But shout out to Jacob. Yeah. That's my dog. Shout out to Jacob. He putting in work. Shout out to Jacob. Right? Shout out to Jacob. Shout out to everybody multiplicity. But most of everybody multiplicity have started on locker room. And that's how we mm-hmm. all met. We was all in rooms together, debating, yelling at each other. <laughs> Doing verses. <laughs> Doing I verses. never did them. I never did them. I was always in the room. I was always in the crowd, like, like you already know I'm rocking with Bryce. I was in there, yes. in the mug, bro. They like, bro, he gonna pick Bryce every time. I was like, you already know. It was like, bro, I think we gonna pick such and such every time, like. And then, know? and then I, we would be cheating. Like, you would text, we would text each other and be like, oh, you about to play this, right? Well, don't forget this song. Don't forget this player. Even though he, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, no, I think we did that more so with the drafts <laughs> and with the verses. Yeah. Uh, I said I would just go off, off the dome with the verses. It's like mm-hmm. I wouldn't even look at no text, no no suggestions, whatever. I was like, bro, I got it. Bang. I I was just bored, you know, and that just like occupied a lot of my time. It was senior yeah. year for me. I just was like, I'm lit. Yeah, I I don't care. I'm point. getting out of here. I, I hadn't started working because everything was locked down around here. Yeah. And then um, what else or who else? Um, so we went to halftime for a minute. Did our shows on halftime, live shows there. They sent us recordings and stuff, you know. They showed us mad love there, whatever. But it's just like, I don't know what the disconnect was or the reason why we, I don't know. We just, just decided to do things on our own after a while. We just like, instead of doing the live show thing, we just like, all right, let's just record and just put it out, you know. Like, I feel like that method works better. And then trying to find a time, get people to try and tune in at that certain time, mm-hmm. and it's, you know, it's, it was hard. So for everybody to hear the show at same like you know one time whatever like we just like all right we just gonna record and do our thing right so we record do our thing um what else or who else and yeah 
Next thing you know, ML, Chase, Dion, they started Multiplicity, hit us up. We joined Multiplicity. The rest is history. Yeah, that's a bar. <laughs> Oh, you find out. But yeah, no, nah, uh, we've had some funny times on this show. <laughs> yeah, I know my all time favorite moment on this show. What's your all time favorite moment on this show? You pro ready. <laughs> Y'all already knew. Y'all already knew, bro. Y'all already knew what my favorite moment Yo! on this show was, bro. We've had some funny moments, but that one by We had some far. funny moments for sure, for sure. Like, we had some funny debates. We got some funny debates on here, funny man. rants on here, good rants, good debates, uh, good the, content. The, the, the Bryce Nets rant. You said what? Oh, the Nets. Dog, my Nets rants. Oh, my goodness, bro. Katie and Kyrie back-to-back episodes was crazy. Bro, it was that. It was, it was crazy. It was Kyrie in the back stance. It was down game seven. Bro, the part Kyrie got traded, seven, and then the listen, next – And then we did an emergency pop for Katie, seven, right? Probably was the like oh. our most listened pod in a minute. Yeah, everybody was like, "Oh, what Bryce going to say? What Bryce?" Like, listen, bro, I posted that. Yeah, pod. listen, I posted that part in the morning, right? I'm on the way to work. I look, we already got twenty like listens. I said, "Damn, <laughs> right?" In this amount yeah. of time, twenty in two hours. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, everybody was, was like, "Yo, we ready for it, down <laughs> for." Bro, I had my homie Chauncey had texted me like. Oh, I know Bryce down bad right now. I can't oh. wait to see the pod. Like, I can't wait to hear the pod. Oh. I was like, bro, he ain't never met Bryce. And I was like, yeah, we prayed on his downfall. We, I'm, I'm ready to see him down bad. Like, because Bryce is so biased and so passionate about the Nets. Everybody be like, man, fuck the bad. Nets. I have since grown from that time, but yeah. I still post agendas, bro. And agendas, agendas are still getting pushed. I mean, I have a podcast, I have a platform. Agendas are going to get pushed. Kind of, I'm still just looking for I mean, hey, I'm not pushing the way I used to push them, but I, hey, I'm still an agenda pusher. I ain't like some people, but I'm reasonable with the agendas that I push. Let's say that. Let's say that. Let's say that. I'm a, I'm reasonable with some of the agendas that I push. Been more reasonable lately. That's once what I'm NBA, saying. But once That's the NBA saying. season starts up, once the NBA season come back around, then we really go see. It's gonna be an interesting NBA season and the football Nets season are... and the football season because I ain't never seen you with the Jets being good. About to say yeah, because I've only seen you met, walking the Jets on Twitter. We met what 2013? Damn, that's been ten years. Year. Yeah, we yeah. met and we really became friends over the 2013 NBA draft class. <laughs> that's a fact. Trey Burke, Mark Carter, <laughs> Trey Burke, Victor Depot, Mark Carter Williams. Those are our guys. We argue every week about bro. We Michael made a bet. Away, we, made a, we made a bet. Like it was like a dollar because we were like little freshmen in high school. Right. Maybe like five dollars. I don't know. But it was a bet to see. No, no, no. It was one dollar. It was one dollar. We didn't bet on rookie of the year, but we bet on who'll be rookie of the month. But we dumb, not dumb, but we didn't even think ones of the easy they, the they ended up winning rookie of the month. Same point. <laughs> Man, if Trey Burke can't go to the Jazz, he'd have been a star. Boy, I thought Mark Carter Williams was the one after that game against the Heat, bro. Yeah, he, he had that a man had a triple game. double in his first game in the league. I said, oh, I said yes. Yeah. I said yes. My agendas. <laughs> Even back then, man. Even back then. And then, of course, Duke and Kentucky taught. Um, Miami Heat taught. The, the, the team. Don't lie now. The team that are Miami Heat, Boston that Celtics. Miami Heat, Boston Celtics. Talk. Why That's you gotta all. say the name, man? Damn. Because man, the people need to know. You can't give man, people, people the background don't need to know. and not be learning. People don't need to know. Some that. some people are listening for the first time. They need to know. No, they don't need to know. Yes, they do. You see this? We used to go back and forth every day. You see this? This twenty thirteen. Not twenty thirteen. Die hard Celtics. No, 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 no. Oh my God! Where you wrong? Where you wrong, sir? Where you wrong? So you were you were a Nets fan in 2013. Where you wrong, sir? Were you a Nets fan? I've always I've always had love for the Nets. All right, I'll say that. I always I've always had love for the Nets. When they played the Celtics, was you rooting for them? 
All right, then. That's all I know. Man, you got dead silence on the podcast. Feed assist. Feed assist. assist. I mean, like I said, I always have love for the boys. But, hey, this is me. I'm going to cover up the at names. But this is me. 2012. And what's that? That's a Nets hat. I need to curve curve the brim on that. I'm going to go back. If I ever can go back in time, I'm going to go to myself at the bus stop that morning and be like, Yo, brim. <laughs> Cause ain't nobody my brim that straight in that dang old photo, bro. <laughs> bro, but, you know, we've been on this journey for a minute, bro. Like we've, I've always had a good conversation with Reed. Turn the basketball. Like we used to be on Facetime for hours, just talking to hoops, talking about different games and stuff. Like, clowning my, clowning my brothers. Yeah, That's yeah, what what, what bro. No, we did you see Andre the other day? He put the damn Simpsons container in the sink. Wait, the what? He oh, put yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. In the sink. No, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. He was trying to save it. I'm gonna be lazy. I went to go put my my uh plate in the trash, and I look. I said, I'm like, Dre, I know not, bro. And he's like, what? And then he like realizes it starts laughing. I was like, bro. <laughs> I was like, bro, you put this the Simpsons container in the in the damn sink, and he's like, <laughs> I'm like, man, he's like, bro, come. I'm like, bro, come on. Nah, that's crazy. Yeah, know. but nah, all in all, though, this has been a wonderful journey. Shout out to the old show. I came across it the other day. The um. I did a compliment. Tariq and Bryce, Tariq and Bryce NBA 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 podcast. NBA. Yeah. You can see I'm not good with names. I've gotten better. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know what to call this. Uh, let's just call it our name. Like how the blog was just, oh, Bryce's Hoops blog. And then it became Hoops Dialogue. And then, damn, the Bryce and Tariq, or Tariq and Bryce podcast show. WMEA podcast show. And then the hoodie and the headband, which, huh, that's a good name. I remember the day. I don't remember the exact day I came up with that name. But I remember I texted you like, oh, I got one. And you was like, oh, that's that tough. The one. That's, was, the one. Yeah, that's the one. It's sticking. I ain't going to lie. It's sticking. The the, the logo mm-hmm. needs some changing, needs some updating. But the, the you know, the name itself. Once we can get that, Once we can get that on. Because no, no one else, you're not going to see that nowhere else. Where else you gonna see the hoodie and the headband? Right. You know, spot you go, and everybody I tell it, I'll be like, yeah, the hoodie and the headband. They be like, oh, I like that. I'm like, yeah. When I tell people, they be like, oh, because you wear hoodies all the time. Does your friend wear headbands all the time? I'm like, yes. <laughs> They're like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Because you always wear a hoodie. Like my coworkers be like, I ain't never seen you without a hoodie. I'm like, because we be inside. Like they be like, it's hot outside. I'm like, how often are we outside? Like, I argue people all the time. Like, 98% of the time, you're inside. Like, Unless you're going to the beach hoodie, or something. In the middle of the summer, it's crazy work, though. I it's mean, not- I did it for a summer because I worked in a cooler. But other than that, it's not, it's not crazy. But, yeah. yeah I don't, people don't realize how often they're inside. You're only outside. You're, you're in the car. You get out of the car. You walk in the building. And you walk wherever you're at. And then you're in there. Like, if you go to the mall. You're in the mall for three hours. You go to the movie theater. You're in the movies for an hour and a half, two hours. Mm-hmm. Then you go out and you get back in the car. Like, people don't be thinking about how often they're like, now, if I go and hoop outside in 100 degree weather in a hoodie, then that's insane. You're insane, my boy. I'm about to say, I don't even think about if, if I'm If I'm in a, if I'm in a AC gym, like a gym with AC, and I still got a hoodie on and I'm hooping, that's not crazy. Yeah, like it's an AC. They're gonna call you hoodie Mel at that point. Oh, look at hoodie Mel. I, I only hoop in my hoodie. My hoodie Reek. Hoodie Reek. It's, it's just it's a brand at this point. Facts, it's just like the headband. headbands. Are if brand I walk around and I don't got a hoodie on, people gonna be like, "Oh man, that boy don't." I'll even just wear the headband just cause. The, like this, this the thing that made me think that way eye. was a boogie with the hoodie. When he came out, I was like, "Oh, he better only wear hoodies." And, he only and I've seen bro without hoodies for a couple of, like, 
He was just in black tees, white tees, like little baby. I'm like, man, what a car with the hoodie. He ain't got no damn hoodie on. So I was like, all right. I think if we really go on with it, we got to like, really go with it. Yeah, no, for real, for real. I feel that. I haven't been on this show without a hoodie on. Ever. Like unless unless you count the Yukon crew neck or like uh whatever you call it. Oh no, you probably just wore I'm probably whenever you got our shirts, you probably just wore the shirt once and not the hoodie. Oh, no. That's the only time. But that's the only ever time I can think of you know. Well, we we got that a minute ago. So like yeah, I'm I don't think we were doing I don't even think we were doing visual. Yeah, I don't even think we were doing visual then, for real, for real. Yeah. I right. I might have worn like the, the sweet sixteen shirt, but maybe not. Yeah, like just that. But other than that, like hoodie. Cause I'd be like, oh, I don't need no hoodie. I'm in the crib, and I'm like, oh no, we about to do the show. Got it. Yeah, it can't be a hoodie in the headband, and they like this is the first time. This is the first time they they watch us, and they, they, but I ain't even wearing no hoodie. I mean, I've definitely been on here without a headband. Without I'm, a headband, we've been the the hoodie and the fitted a lot of times, <laughs> or the hoodie and the fresh cut a couple times. But if but if I got a hoodie on, they know who you are. Hey, if you yeah. don't have. If you don't have a headband on and I don't have a hoodie on, they're gonna be like, which one is which? Who's who? Because I got jerseys behind me and shit. So yeah. it's not like I got hoodies hanging up back there. Like, which actually, that'd be kind of tough. I didn't think about that. That'd be kind of tough. Mm-hmm. I don't got enough space on this wall, but one day. One day. This shit really, my, my background, my background really gonna be decorated. Word. It's gonna be crazy. But yeah, man. So 100, 100 episodes in. And this is just the beginning, bro. I mean, yeah. hey, this, year, this year's not even over yet. Um, nope. You know, we went to Sweet 16 this year. You know, I've been going to games. Tariq has been... You been in any games this year? You haven't been in any games yeah. yet. Uh, but, hey, you know, we working, man. Shout out to the to the guys on Most Pussy Media giving us this platform on their app. Not app. On their um, mm-hmm. channel. Y'all gonna run it out. Just hit 300 subscribers about a week ago, week or two ago. So keep running that up. Uh, shout out to the team. Shout out to everybody, man. A hundo. All right, let's get the basketball. Yeah, we never we never responded. Did we respond to that? Respond to who? Check your phone. Oh, no, I responded to that. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. see it. So I didn't... All right. But yeah. Um, let's get in the hoops. Oh, before you go, I'm sorry. Cheers. To the next 100. I'm empty now. To the Her. next. We did his pre pod, but we do it. I want to do it on camera too. So, yeah, I was like, oh, this one I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but to the White next 100, though. White tea, raspberry. And I'll drink my tea. Well, maybe Body I'll. Woman, give me a sponsor. Anyway. I, got body, I got two body on ladies. Right here. White. I got the peach mango, blue raspberry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyways, uh, yeah. so let's get into the hoops for real, for real. So, Alyssa Thomas, bro. Historic. Man. Historic. Man. Listen, man. Yeah, you safe, bro, bro. safe. Hey. I don't think anybody should ever been sleeping on Alyssa Thomas. I don't think people should have ever had her outside of the MVP combo. I mean, but hey, we are here. She so all right. Last night gets the Minnesota Lynx. She got the first ever twenty twenty and ten triple double in the WBA. Now it's also her second consecutive triple double, first ever to do so in the WBA. It's also her fifth this season. Let me repeat myself. Fifth this season. I know a lot of people talking about like, oh wow, such and such get five or whatever had whatever. WNBA is way different than NBA. For one, they don't play as long. They play 40 minutes a game and they're only playing 40 games a year, which is the most that they've played in 27 years of the WBA league. You gotta think W still I'm gonna say far behind, but they're still behind the NBA in a lot of aspects. Like NBA was around for 50 years before the WBA became a thing. But yeah, you so you got that. Um she's been phenomenal this season. 
the MVP candidate. That just makes the MVP conversation harder now. Cause like I remember last week, week before last, whatever, I was like, oh, ages MVP, don't need to question it, don't need to try to contest it, whatever. And then now I'm just thinking like, hmm. It's it's crazy because when you watch doing any something of the no one's ever done before. When you watch any of the threes, that player is like, oh damn, that's the MVP. But when you watch when I watch Asia, that wings game, that's six blocks. Right now, bro. Six right blocks? Now. Solidified, bro. I'm sorry. Still, he's been great. it has been historic, been legendary. It's just it's different, bro. No, for sure, really for sure. Good. I feel the same way. And, and, you know, it's just, I don't know. Either way, it's just a historic season because, like, you got the Aces on pace to have the best. Re- they just clinched the play. They just clinched the playoffs. Yeah. They punched your ticket before to the, the Commissioner Cup game. Before the Commissioner's Cup game. Whole week before the Commissioner's Cup game. Oh. Like that's that's the same. So you got that, and then you got dog on. Um, they're on pace to have the best record in WNBA history ever. I think they probably already have the best record in WNBA history. I don't know. They still got like games to play, but still, yeah, it's, yeah. it's it's insane. It's crazy. Um, then you got you know, man. Man, it's it's wild. It's really wild. What we're all the forty point games this year. What we're witnessing here, bro. We're really witnessing the rise of a dynasty. Shout out to W Slam and my other copies over there. Protect wrapped away away to get framed. But we're really witnessing something generational here, dog. Like this is probably like, I was a baby when damn the comments were doing their thing. So. To see this, this is like, damn, so that's how that was like? I mean, we saw the links. Yeah, we did see the links, yeah. We saw, what, 2013, 15, 17? No. Only, like, only pushback that I have for them being labeled a dynasty is the fact that they only have one ring. No. Hmm. The Aces. Oh, I thought you were talking about the links. That's the no, 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 the Aces. <laughs> now, they, they've been there. They've been there a few times. They, you know, they lost to the what's gonna call it? They lost to the storm in a bubble, wobble. Sorry, mm-hmm. and they came close other times, but I mean, hey, oh, they're I'm really a warm. unit, bro. They're really a unit. Chelsea Gray, fam, and no, WME shop, y'all, y'all, y'all a mess. Y'all a mess. I should have had my Chelsea Gray jersey by now. I should have had a Chelsea Gray jersey by now. Ain't no way. After the All Star break, they're just not becoming available, and I lost patience. So I told Tariq to give me a different jersey. I know that's gonna take to the end of the damn season to get here. <laughs> but like, come on, man, get better. Uh, like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. What's going on? Like, give us opportunities to support. Except you want to have kid jerseys available. Nothing wrong with kids. Kids need need you know want. To have jerseys too. They watch the game. They look up to these uh, players. But same time, we want to support as well. So, but yeah, they got a unit though. The Aces got a whole. They got a unit, man. They got a squad. They're coached by one of the best coaches in the sport, not in the league, in the sport. Okay, one of the best coaches in the sport, Becky Hammond, bringing that 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 pop philosophy mentality, that pedigree, that knowledge. To the W, they they wasn't ready for it. They wasn't ready for it. We saw it last year, they wasn't ready for it. We see it again this year, they ain't ready for it. Same time, the talent is there. Got Asia Wilson, ran an MVP in the first play of the year, best player in the league, face of the league. Ain't nothing you can do with it, bro. I'm watching the game yesterday. I'm like, damn, they cannot. Hey, who? They cannot contain her. Ain't nothing you can do with her. She gonna get hers. Ain't nothing you gonna do with her. Somebody said when she stomped that left leg, it's over with. Over with. Come on now. You get the stomping and yelling. Come on now. Go ahead. Go ahead and pack it up. Stop playing with her, man. Stop playing with 22, man. Anyways, um, got Asian, ran an MVP, uh, defensive player of the year. We're looking to do so again, too. She about to. She about to? She about to. I hope so. I, I feel like so, too. I, if you watch the game. Looking at it. Yeah, but I say, looking at the games, looking at – how she's effective on both ends of the of the court. How dominant. Oh yeah. 
dominant. Yeah. Now I will get the nod to Brittany Sykes for the Fitz Play of the Year because she she's been tough as well. Brittany, listen, I see some games. I love Brittany. Brittany out there looking like a DB for real. Nah, like I see her, like she, you know, she like read the pass, bah! layup. And she's been holding she's down been amazing. For, uh, for the Mystics. She's too. been amazing this year. Yeah, she's been holding yeah. down for the Mystics on both sides of the court. You know, she's been like, she 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 top of games. I think she's a leading year. scorer for them at the moment because EDD is out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah, no. Aces, back to the Aces. You got Kelsey Plum, one of the fastest guards in the league, if not the fastest guard in the league. Um, crafty, you get to the cup, hit the mid range, hit the three. It's quick, can't do nothing with it. Got Jackie Young, who's improved once again. She was most improved player. Yeah, young. Hey, I'm gonna say she's gonna win it again this year because that that'd be crazy. But like, she's still she's improved even further on both ends of the ball. It's insane. That four alone is insane. And they gonna play the whole game, yeah. most of the game, and, and they're not well, gonna. They, be the bench has played more this year. Tristan the bench has been played more. The bench has has played more. Tristan yeah, Bell gets some minutes. She had like what fifteen last night. She had fifteen last night. Yeah, she knocked down three threes, bro. I was tired of them, but I'm a, at a certain point. I was like, oh, they about to. <laughs> but hold on, 15. yeah, KB had fifteen points, three rebounds, three three from three. No, no, I said that wrong. Uh, she had three threes and she had she shot fifty five percent from the field. Okay, shout out KB. I keep saying that she's gonna be a good like I. Well, I don't say it out loud, but I say to myself when I watch these games, it's like her being on this team is gonna help her out so much whenever she finally gets that moment to be a starter and be like a focal point of a team. Because she's only in year two. Yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She's only in year. All right. She's only in year two, and she's only all she's doing is learning from the ones in front of her. And she's gonna be that first one off the bench. She's gonna you know keep getting time, um, and it's just gonna like she's gonna be an impact player. Whether that's for the aces down the line or whether that's for somebody else down the line, she's gonna be an impact player for sure. And it's gonna be a joy to watch. Uh, I think that's the thing about the W is how they develop players or how players come in already developed from having four years in college. And that's why the product is as good as it is, like quality wise, in terms of the players. So uh who else? Kia yeah, Stokes I'm tired of Haley Jones. So. Kia Stokes cooking. She's played well this season. Uh, I'm gonna gonna play well I'm soon. Gonna you know. I hope Candace gets. I hope Candace gets a return to the floor, not not mm-hmm. on, on some selfish, it uh this, but just you know just for the fact to see that she's able to play and be. Because if she gets another ring, they're gonna be like, oh, she ain't play. And I'm like, yeah, that that'll be terrible. But same time though, like, I don't know. You got it. People that don't know ball love to speak on ball, and they just be wrong, loud and wrong every time. So yeah. Um, but yeah, man, Ace is looking good. They look like they're about to run the table again. No pun intended. I probably ruined it by saying that, but look like they're about to run the table again. So, um, they 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 face the 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 Liberty soon, August sixth, and then again on August fifteenth for the for the Commissioners Cup in New York. Well, Commissioner Cup not in New York, but they faced the Liberty this upcoming weekend in New York. Ask me a game. I hope so. Yeah. The first one wasn't. Yeah. Got right I don't know, to see the Liberty looking a little looking looking a little better now, you know. They're finding their rhythm ish. Mm, I feel like I feel like this past week they didn't look good. No, nah, that game. Well, the game last night was they a weird lost. Game. They lost to the Lynx. The game last night was a weird game. No fee. 
Yeah, about to say Fee's been out. So yeah, they lost. Wow, yeah. Yeah, they beat the Sparks last night, and then they played somebody else, and it was a close. I think it was the Storm after that, and they played on close. Hold on, who they played? Might have been the Storm. Yeah. Let me see who. Let's see. Lynx. They played somebody else after the Lynx, and I was like, oh, they should blow them out. Sure did. Oh, they played a Liberty they before the Lynx. Huh? They, I'm not a Liberty. They played a the Dream before the Lynx. It was a bat to bat. They played the they, Dream played the Liberty and then they played the Lynx at home. And the way they had four games in a week. Yeah, they, play, they played the Sparks Sunday and and last night. Okay. They played yeah, back so they had four games in a week. But they had close. Right, they two? struggled with them because that game was on ESPN. They struggled with them on Sunday. Cause I thought they was gonna come out, blow them out. They they got a big lead and then let them come back. Yeah. Um. And then last night they were struggling. Like they was down to a certain point. I'm like, bro. I thought they was like finally rhythm. Really, I'm like, they play like this, they get ran off the court every time they play at uh, Las Vegas. Cause Las Vegas sees it. Like they treat every Las Vegas like play with the but they're going to see New York and be like, this is the team that we need to, like, really give the business. Like, don't give them no confidence. Yeah. Because I feel like I feel like the Liberty are waiting for, like, a, a statement win or something, like, something to, like, get their season, like, really, really going. And it's wild to say that, for, and they've only got six losses, but with as much talent as they have, you know they can play way better than they are playing right now. But that still doesn't mean they're playing bad, like, Sabrina's not playing bad. Uh, Cordy Vance is not playing bad. John Claude's playing better. Um, Benaz Eleni, Marie Johannes, they're all playing well. Stewie's a top three MVP candidate. Like, they're not playing bad. They're just not playing up to the expectation. Yeah. So far. And maybe that expectation was too high. I'm not sure. We'll see. Mm-hmm. But, um, them play with the ace, play the aces again this time in New York. It'll be it'll be interesting to see how those guards match up with uh Jackie, Chelsea, Kelsey. Like but Nigel will probably get Jackie. But after that it's like I'm about to really lock in on defense because Chelsea and Kelsey are both coming at your head. And Man, like Chelsea cold, Baker, cold bloody. There lately, bro. Like she is the nicest point guard in the league, bro. And it it's not close. It's not close. I'm saying that again. Chelsea Gray, the monk in point guard. Lord forgive me, but the point guard is the nicest guard in the WNBA. So crap. because you said the nicest. So crap. You said the nicest. Yeah, nicest is telling me the best. I mean. You said it doesn't or it does? I said it doesn't. Doesn't okay, necessarily mean saying. the best. That's what I'm saying. I let it slide. I'm trying to think of who the best, best guard in the league is now that you say that. The best point guard in the league? That's point guard. It's still Cordy Vanish, though. You think so? You don't At this so. moment. Yeah. Hmm. She's st- bro, she just scored 20 of 23 points in the second half last night. Leading the league in assists. Like, people are sleeping on her because Sabrina's still doing her thing. Stewie's a top three MVP candidate. People are waiting on John Quayle. People are screaming for Ben Lane to get more attention. Courtney Vandersloot is one of them ones, for real. Like, she may not be – She may not be out here every pass behind the back, but she wants Courtney Vandersloot. He won. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Hey, Chelsea, hey, Chelsea can do everything Vandersloot can do. What is it that she can't do? Tell me, Rick. Tell me, Rick. I know you want to say something. Well, what is it that Courtney Vandersloot, one of them, that, 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 that Chelsea Gray can't do that Courtney Vandersloot can do? What is it? She can shoot. She can score. She can pass. She can dribble. She can defend. Playmaking, obviously. We'll see. Man, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see. 
I'm not your pet uh, these teams, teams, these two teams, this is what we've been waiting on all season, all off season. We getting it here. We getting it twice in two weeks. Well, over two weeks. So the six. I feel like that'll be a good uh preview of how the commercial scout game will go. Mm-hmm. It'll act as such. Really depends on depends. what team shows up or how they decide to, to play. I know Ace is not gonna play with their food as they haven't been all season. I mean, I don't know, except for the two losses, but I mean they've had some games where they, they easily they could have lost, but the other teams did make the play. The they game heroic. It's just, you know, sticking Chicago, it out. Towards the end. Also, yeah, I think Chicago and Indiana both had them pretty close. To the I think it was a game recently somebody missed a layup. And I was like, oh, was it? Oh, no, I was watching the Fever and, um, whatchamacallit, and Mercury game yesterday. Hey, we're going to get into that in a minute, too. That just reminded me of somebody. But we're going to stick on this this subject here. So, yeah, Aces, Liberty, Beast of the East, Best of the West. You said what? You said don't do that no more? Beast of the East, Best of the West. Like, no. Top two teams in the league. Top two, two teams. Right. Top two teams in the league. Yes, are going at it. So, uh, obviously the matchups are there. You got Sabrina, KP. You got Chelsea, Courtney Vanderslu. You got Jackie Benaja. You got what should we call him? Asia and Stewie. Only mismatch would be what Kia Stokes on uh, John Quell. Yeah, and that's it. Anything else is kind of even, or somebody might have a slight edge over the other person. Yeah, I mean, I'll say Jackie and Benaja. I will say so as well. I would say. I would say Kathy's a little bit better than Sabrina. I would say that just as well. Only yeah. like also up would be. He's just doing it. Yeah. Those are the two toss ups. You know, I mean, Stewie's no, had her time getting the best of Asia. Asia's had her time just getting the best of Stewie. I mean, that's going to be a rivalry, a matchup that we are, that we that we have the pleasure of seeing for a very long time. The, yeah, Chris, the matchup we'll be able to tell our grandkids about. Year five and six. Yeah. Um, yeah. Stewie came in in 16. Asia came in 18. 17. 18. 18. 18. Yeah, 18. They won a chip in 18. They won, no, was that 18 or was that 17? I think they won a chip in 17. They lost in the tournament 18. Yeah. They lost their senior year. Junior year, they won because Lucha Gray was there. Lucha Gray went to. League okay, yeah, yeah, year. and then and, next and, year Asia came in oh, so yeah, 2017. Asia, uh, 2017 first oh, Asia, that's the year, that's the nah. year, what you call it? 28 isn't 2018 a year, Notre Dame won it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2018, yeah. Oh, off nah. the replay shot, right? Or that's 2019, yeah, yeah, because yeah, 2019 Baylor won it, yeah, Baylor won it 2019, 2018. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, all right, so yeah, but all in all, this, this is going to be a good matchup. This is going to be a good game. Can't wait to see these two play. I'm glad that they, I wish that they played more, but obviously they don't. Yeah. I'm yeah. glad that they have it spread out the way they do. Um, And then they meet one last time after the Commissioner's Cup game. And then mm-hmm. after that, hey. Next time they'll be meeting is in the finals if they if they both make it there. Uh what are you looking forward to in this matchup? Um the defense. Honestly, which team can because I mean the liberty is ball movement. And then it's hard because the aces they play like they play fast. 
They play smart. And they also play flashy. They play, I want to say ISO. Mm -hmm. But they still end up playing a lot of one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So can you contain... You don't respectfully you don't really have to worry about kids scoring. So can you contain you know, say stop, can you contain two of the top four? Yeah, because can you slow down two of them. Yeah. If you can slow down two of them, your night gets I wouldn't say it's easier, but your night gets yeah, your night gets easier. I mean, if you can slow down a KP or a Jackie or a Chelsea or a Jackie. And you gotta, and then it's just Kelsey or Asia or Asia and Chelsea, like one of like something of that nature. And then on the other side, can you battle through their defense? Because they have great defense. Jackie Young is a great defender. Yeah, he's a great to sit down on defense. Asia Wilson, yeah, possibly, Asia defense player of probably year. deepest player of the year. Kia Stokes is yeah. playing a lot better defense. Kathy Plum plays really good defense when she really, really wants to. Um, so. I think it comes down to the defense because if New York can't stop them, it don't matter how many points you put up. Yeah. Because because both I mean both teams can go on runs, but the Aces can go on runs by the like game over. Yeah. If I say they can go on a run, solidify a hey. like what was it? Bree, I'm gonna say we it's said it was sixty nine to sixty four. They were up five with like nine minutes left. She came back with like six five minutes left. And it was sixty four to eighty two. Game. Fifteen no running. Three minutes. Crazy. Yeah, that shit happens damn near every night. This Very is so Warriors and I love to watch it, bro. I love good basketball. One thing I love is good basketball and watching good basketball and seeing the way that the Aces play on a nightly basis. Something that I like a lot of. What are you looking forward to about the game? I'm looking forward to seeing how the atmosphere looks. I'm looking forward to seeing, you know, how different it is playing it, playing this game in Las Vegas or playing this game in uh uh um uh, New York. Now they do play on a Sunday, I believe. That's a six. All right. Yeah, they do play on Sunday. So I know the clays is gonna be lit. I know the clays is gonna be packed. It's probably gonna be a sold out game. So if it's anything like that first game I went to against the Fever, I know it'd be lit. I know it'd be packed. And I want to see how big of a factor the crowd is in this game. Um I also want to see how they like you like you mentioned, I want to see how they play each other. You know, how are they gonna play on Asia? How are they gonna focus in on Stewie? How are they gonna are they going to play off on somebody or like what, what is going to be the approach in these games to win? Like how are the aces are going to, going to go about winning this game against the, the Liberty, how the Liberty are going to go about winning this game against the aces. So we got two good coaches. Sandy Brundell has been one of the better coaches in the league for a while now. You know, her time in Phoenix, she's been, she's been doing the damn thing. Becky Hammond, one of the best coaches in the league, if not the best coach in the league, has been doing been doing a damn thing as well. Like you got two of the best coaches going against each other, two of the best teams going against each other, two of the best players going against each other. It don't get no better than this, man. Yeah, it don't get no better than this, man. There's, there's, I want to say there's, I want to say there's beef, but I think there is okay. I think there's a good amount of competition when you got players like you got Chelsea Gray and you got Sloop who are compared uh point guards of their generation because Sue is like you know, she's considered the GOAT. And she's but she's got Lindsay Whalen and those type of players in her, you know, in her conversation. Yeah. Obviously, like, you know, Courtney Manor Sue and Chelsea Gray put themselves in that conversation as well. But right now it's like, all right. These two and Skyler are the this generation's best point guards. So, well, you got a Rico. Who's better? Point guard? Is she not point guard? Am I tripping? A Rico point guard? <laughs> I'm going to set up on that one. Continue. 
I mean, they have Marina, they have Christian Dangerfield now, Odyssey Sims. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said that. I'm thinking of I think I was I'm thinking of guards. I'm not thinking of point guards. I'm thinking of guards. No, I'm talking specifically point guards. Point guard. All right. Because you got Eric Wheeler. I don't know. Jordan Canada. You got um Uriah Jefferson. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Like it's them two and stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I get it. 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 So, yeah. No, no, Rika. I don't know why I said Rika. Rika is one of the best guards in the league, yes, but not up there in terms of point guard. Yeah. Got it. Um, um, also, they, how they use their benches, or if they use their benches. Um, uh, New York for sure uses theirs. New York definitely uses theirs. And I will be glad to be seeing Marie and Joanna do something in this game. I don't know, man. Every time she gets to the court, I light up. I'm just like, yeah, it's Marine time. And then, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Aces, they got their bench, you know. Um, they got KB. They got, um, what's her name? 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 Oh, Alicia Clark. Six women of the year. You said what? Six women of the year. Could be. Good case for it. You know, those two are going to be, you know, they're in a good position. They're on good teams and they provide good production when they come in the game. Like, ain't no half stepping when they come in. They come in and they come in with a starter mentality, like a starter attitude. Like, they could start on any other team in the league, I feel. Like, I feel like Marie Giant, is, well, maybe not any other team in the league, but they can fight for a starting position or be a starter elsewhere, you know? Yeah, find a way it's a couple the teams I can see Marine starting on. It's definitely some teams that Alicia Clark can start on, and she was a starter before coming to the Aces. So, yeah, um, yeah, just really want to see how these games unfold. I have a question. Okay. I know there's only twelve. How many teams are there? Ten teams? There's 12 teams in the league. Okay. I don't know why. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, that's not 12 teams. For sure, 12 teams. It's 12 teams. All right. I know it's only 12 teams. Yeah. But other than the Aces, who is your favorite team to watch on week 10? Oh. Don't say the Liberty. I know. I can't say the Liberty. I wasn't thinking of Liberty. I mean, Liberty are cool. Okay. I like the Liberty. I, you know, I have, I got love for the Liberty still. Like, I had love for the Liberty before Brianna Stewart was even a topic coming to the team. Like, I always like, come on now, you see, you see what's on my shirt. You know what hats I wear. You know, if you've been listening to this podcast for as long as you've been listening to this podcast, you know, I'm a New York guy. Yeah, I'm from SC, but I rep, I like, I support New York teams. And I always like to see New York doing good. Not not all New York teams, you know. I'm not here for for the Mets doing good if they're ever doing good, or uh, whatever New York team I don't really rock with. That's about it. I'm not really a fan, you know. If the Mets doing good, I I could care less. But seeing New York be good makes me feel good, makes my family feel good. So there's that. Um, I like watching the Dream. The Dream are a fun team. Um. Dream are fun. The Haley played more out of you. You said what? The Haley played more out of you. Yeah. Uh, Maybe bullshit on her minutes. Who else is a fun team to watch? I don't know. I I like seeing Diamond Miller cook up on the links since she's been back. Um. I'm not at that. Yeah. And when the Sparks play, I tune in because you never know where you're gonna get with the Sparks. You never know what, you, what type of game we're gonna get. Like, hmm. I don't know. Wings too. I like the wings. I like the the tandem of Arike, Arike. I'm sorry, Arike and Satu. But yeah, what about you? Who are your other favorite teams to watch? Yeah, Chicago. Chicago. Um, it's just a vibe. Oh, you're, you're a Chicago Sky fan, bro. 
watching it. I don't know why. I mean, I know why. Parentheses, Candace Parker fan first, though. I mean, I don't know, man. Just watching Ty, Tony yeah. Williams, yeah. Tony Smith, Williams Brandon Mabry. She, I mean, she's like, I think she's third in assists per game right now with like six, six point three something like that. Like, Kyle's getting buckets. Marina Mabry stay getting buckets. Like, oh yeah, Marina to tough people. too. Stay talking shit to people. Alana Smith, Jersey. might be my pick for most improved player this year. Okay. Um, Elizabeth Williams, like. Even when they come off the bench, like Robin Parks, like she had, I think, like 16, 17 the other night, or maybe yeah. it was 14. She hit a couple threes, hit one step back, and I was like, that's in your back. What if it all you? I mean, she, she's, she's had some good games, but mm-hmm. uh, I like Morgan Birch. You know, she gets okay. like real minutes with the Hebrews still on the team. Yeah. Um, Dana Evans, like, I don't right. know, man. That team just, that team just got a lot of, a lot of a lot of a lot of good vibes to it, you know. It's a team that like when you watch, you know, even if they lose, it's gonna be a good game. They gonna they gonna get theirs. It's it, that's what it really is. It's a lot of players that's like, I'm gonna get them. And I normally don't like that type of team. I love those kind of players, but hate them at the same time because it depends on if if the I'm gonna get mine is like a Kirsten Bell, I'm gonna get mine when she gets in the game. That doesn't affect mm-hmm. the scene. Is Kirsten I always say her name wrong. I always pronounce that name wrong. But Kirsten Bell, like if it's a like Kirsten action. Bell, I'm gonna get mine whenever I get in the game, and it doesn't affect the team. It's mm-hmm. a, it's good, you know, I like it. But if it's like, I You're can't find a W, huh? You're okay, yeah, I was say I couldn't find a W comparison. I'll go say like a market smart, but yeah, it's a couple of it's a couple, yeah, of, it's a couple, of, it's a couple of people on the fever. I'm not gonna lie, it's it's a it's a legend. It's a, it's a goat that it's the same way. If you watch a feed, I'm about to say, a, I know you ain't talking about get, you got the C score at 20 in the first half last last night. She be getting them, bro. I looked at bro. Oh, look, listen, get, I'm watching the game, right? So I'm watching the game. I'm watching the game. I shorty watched the Sopranos, and I'm just like, what you call it? I was tuning into the game, and it's like, yeah, DT got 23 points, that and that, whatever. I was like, dang, in the first half? Because I don't know why I tuned into the game so late. I think we went to go. I think we got something to eat. Yeah, we definitely – we got something to eat and came back. That's why I tuned into the game as late as I did. But, yeah. So, I tuned into the game. You know, I was just like, oh, wow, 23 in the first half? DT DT still – DT she had like seven days off. There's seven games off for 14 hours. Um, no, she's she's right there at 10,000. She need like how many points away she need? Uh, I'd have to look at her final. Maybe like, I, think maybe, I thought it was like maybe like 30 something. Uh, I feel like at halftime it was like 27, something like that. Okay. Um, but so she'll probably be getting it by the time we record next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so I, I'll give a I'll give a shout out to her in a little bit, but yeah, uh, yeah. I think Chicago. I think they like they have the right amount of like I'm gonna get in line, but they do it as a team. Yeah. Like when they, when they're playing well, I think they're one of the most fun teams in the league to watch. Yeah. Now, when they're not playing, when they're not playing so well, it's like damn, that's a bad shot. But <laughs> when Courtney Williams is hit her middies, Kyle gets to the bucket, getting crazy layup. Uh, Marina Mabry, you know, doing her little push off, step back. Uh, Alana Smith is getting buckets and getting elbowed in the face. Like Dana Evans, I mean, should have step back, get to the rim, one hand or one legged right hand lay. Like, I don't know, man. Uh, I would say the wings as well, uh, especially since Tatu got a triple double last week. Shout out to Tatu. Um, let's see. Not the fever. Not the sun. The sun aren't a bad team, but they're not a swing team to watch, if that makes sense. Like, Alyssa Thomas is great. Devonna Bonner is great. Lucian Kearns has been really good this year. Tiffany Hayes is good. Like, they're all good, but they're not like, oh, I need, I got to, I mean, I'm watching the games anyway. I watch all the games anyway. But I'm not like, oh, yeah, got to tune into the sun. But, like, the sky plan, I'm like, all right, if I got a three box, 
and the big box. Okay. Yeah. I, I, um, feel that. I, I mess with that. The dream, the dream when Haley Jones is funny. Yeah. I feel you. Even when she's not, though. Even when she's not, though. Because Brian and, and Alex. Hey, she'll, the Haley Jones, bro. she'll get her moment, man. I don't know if she will. Man. I just, I just don't understand. I, I understand, like, oh, we're making a playoff push. Yeah. But, yeah. Like, my have, thing, my thing is this: have, Are you winning a championship this year? Team. Are you winning a chip this year? They have the players that no. they have on that team, bro. They have which one call it? Like she's what a two guard? Like she plays two, three, or whatever. She she plays the point. Point. I don't know why I'm getting people's damn positions <laughs> messed mixed up. Uh I don't know. Maybe because she's a little taller, but. I mean, she's still six, six one, six two. She's like she's a big regard. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I thought she played like a wing. Like I thought she's like a two. If she could shoot better, I remember what's my call. I remember they had like the whole sisters in um Anna mm-hmm. Wilson. Yeah, yeah. That was college. Though. I mean, Lacy Lacy played the four for real. Haley played the three. Lexi played the two. Anna played the one. Okay, so and that's why I thought she was like a two. When one. Anna graduate, when Anna and Lacy graduated. Then Haley played the point. Lexi, um, uh, Haley, Lexi, Cam Brink, um, Fran from time to time, and then uh, Kiki from time to time. Else I can't think of the top of my head. Um, Hannah Jump. Yo, um, and then this Stanford. year. Speaking of Stanford, Lexi Hole defensively. Slapper. <laughs> Yeah. I do like watching her play. Yeah. Okay. Caveat. I okay. like watching the fever play when Grace Berger, Lexi Hall, and Leah Boston are on the court. Okay. But if it's never mind. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disrespect that. Okay. But if you know, you know. Yeah. It's a tough like what uh what Drake say? It's a tough watch. Or something like that. Like He's, I think it's, a, it's like it's a tough watch or something like like I think he's talking about the like the Martin Rosen Raptors or something like that. It's a tough watch, honestly. It was at the ESPYS. What was he talking about? Oh, I don't know. Drake oh, is- he's talking about Draymond's podcast. He's like, it's a tough listen, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Draymond's podcast is a tough watch. A tough listen. It's, it's a tough listen, honestly. Honestly, I was like, damn. Um, because he was wearing his fucking Draymond was wearing that fucking green suit. I don't know why the fuck he was wearing. Oh he yeah, okay, I remember now. Because they put the camera on him, he was like, "I remember now, yeah." Um, but yeah, when when those three are on the court, they're fun to watch because they can, they bring energy, they defend, and they can make entry passes. Crazy that you can't make entry passes, fucking tenth year in the league. No, I'm, I'll be I mean, looking for that now. I watch the Fever. I'll be looking for that now. And have you seen a good entry pass from their starting guards? No. That's like, bro, what you doing, man? Just come on, man. Like, you the crazy thing is, the and the crazy thing is they be looking. And they be it's like, you, it's like you never play half court before, bro. You know, you may post up when you check the ball in and it just. They be looking. Well, they, they see it. And then they still go the other way. Or she still should have step back. I'm like, what are we doing? Erica Willer, Erica Willer, if Erica Willer dribble all the way around the court one more time, bro, I hate when Chris Paul do it. I for sure hate when Erica Willer do it. Because <laughs> what are you doing? See, that she's doing shit, too. Oh, but at least Steve Nash was doing that shit with a purpose. Chris Paul will keep dribbling that shit. Erica Willer will keep dribbling that shit. Like, what are you doing? There was nothing there before. There's still nothing there. And then she gets to the room and missed the fucking layup half the time. More than half the time. Damn. It's a tough watch, bro. I'm sorry. Like, I love I love Aaliyah Boston. And then, especially with no list out there either, like, I know she be getting double teamed and shit sometimes. But if you get it to her, she can get it back to you for an open look. God. But no, nah, let's not do that. That's that's too easy. Um, yeah, Chicago. Dallas, let's see. Um, Minnesota, they play. They play pretty well. I think they're back five hundred. Or I think 
They lost last night, so they are back under 500, so they're 13 and 14 now, I believe. But Fee's been incredible all season. K Mac has played really well the last like three weeks or so. Diamond Miller's trying to creep in the rookie of the year conversations. Yeah, she um, won't Dor- much. Dorka. Dorka's played really well. Proud of Dorka. Super proud of her. Super proud of Dorka because I was worried that they were going to try to help her out of roster spot. Um, uh, I, I saw Dorka early on this season. Like, Oh, no. Once, once like, she played, you know, I was like, oh, she good. Because I drafted her in fantasy and I had a good feeling about it. And I was like, you mm-hmm. know, I know, you know, doing having the season she had at UConn this past year and emerging as, you know, one of the better, excuse me, as one of the better players on that team, I knew that she would have been solid as far as like NBA. Yeah, I mean, we say that, but Bree Bill didn't make a roster. I, she should still be in the league. Somebody should pick her up. Penny, Penny is not on the squad. So I was thinking like, I was worried for Lou and Dorsey. Yeah. Like, especially when fucking the Wings drafted eight wings. Like <laughs> they drafted a big bigs and it's like, you know what they heard us on, on ninety four fifty. Seven scores. Seven Damn. scores. They drafted <laughs> Lou like, score. Everybody. Ashley Jones score. Maddie Seeger score. They're like, we're just gonna put a bunch of scores in here, no passers. None at all, boy. Um, let's see. Who else we got? Seven, oh, all right. So let me let me. Oh, what you call it? Mercury, oh, no, Storm, no. Oh, you still you still going through the teams that you like? I was thinking off the top of my head. Go ahead. Yeah, no. So I told Sarit <laughs> right before the show. Um, I don't know how this even got brought up. I'm trying to think of how this got brought up. Let me look. Okay, so it just got randomly brought up. I randomly thought about it because I don't know, whatever. But so first and foremost, happy birthday, Scarlett Digger Smith. And um, yeah, but I had a dream. I, guess um, was, I don't know if this was a dream last night or a dream when I took a nap, but it was a dream. And in that dream, I went on the W app, checked the box score, saw Scarlett Diggins, uh, what's my call it, was playing for somebody. Like I was watching Scarlett Diggins highlights or something. And she had a purple jersey on. I know damn well it wasn't no damn Mercury jersey. Only have a purple jersey <laughs> that said the Lee is the Sparks. So I had a dream that she was probably on the Sparks. And I'm like, you know what? That kind of makes sense because the Sparks need another guard that they can rely on for real and that will help them out. Like, if, imagine if the Sparks had Scarlett Digger Smith this season. How how much uh, better that season would be? Uh, uh. Uh, something after Jordan because she's played really. Oh, Jordan's really playing good. good. Jordan's playing good. But I'm saying, Scarlett Diggins on that team as well. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, with the amount of injuries they've had, I don't think it'd be that different. Yeah, they've had. Scarlett's great. Scarlett's great. I'm not but Nick lie. has been out a lot. Who they called up. They just called Avina out. Westbrook. Avina Westbrook just got called up. After so they, they had Henny, they had they two brothers. Yeah, clouding like it's hella yeah. players they had to bring in like Lexi out again. Yeah, is out. Um, I mean, Katie Lewis on maternity leave. Yeah. That's at least three. That could be in and out. Like, she might play one game the next game. We don't even know if she's out. But the starting lineup, she not in it. Yeah, Carly Carly's missed a couple of games, so they really they they struggled to put like a full roster out on the court. Lacey Clarendon was out for a minute. Yep. Um, Jasmine Thomas was out to start the season. Like, yep. Um, yeah, man. It, it, so she would, she would ob- obviously she'd be really good, but I don't know if they would be like uh, a ton. I don't think there would be a big difference in what their what their seating is right now due to the injuries they had. Because she can't, she can't, uh, you know, she can't make them healthy. So we'll see. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else we had W wise to talk about. Um, I don't think I got anything else to talk about. I know you say you want to talk about uh, most improved and trade deadline stuff. So, um, before we get on most improved, I want to give a shout out to Daniel Rossi, closing in on ten thousand points. Um, no other player is even 
remotely to definitely. I think time second time. is who's Mika Cushions. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's the yeah. graphic we showed in the game yesterday. And I want to say she's like about a thousand over her now. <laughs> like, I have, to, I have to like really go and look. Um, she's 18 points away. So she'll mm. probably get it the next game. 18 points. Um, she's she's innocent 18. Phoenix. She'll get it. She may get this in the first quarter. She like, yeah, she's letting them shit fly. I said, this one, give it to her. Yo, rock out, cook up. I mean, it's going to be something cooking from Alicia. Alicia but we'll, we'll see. Um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to her because. I feel like over the last couple of years, her her legacy has been kind of challenged and questioned uh, because for a while she was um, she was considered the best player ever. Yeah. In w, and I think the last couple of years oh, people have been like people have been like hell now. Nah. Oh, yeah. And I feel oh, like oh, oh, no, I Tina, Tina Thompson is second in scoring. Tina Thompson. Oh, okay. is scoring. Um, I think they were just mad. I mean, I don't know. I know I've said some things to retain into DT, but we got to respect the legend for who she is. She's been in the league for as long as she has been and playing at the level that she's been playing at for as long as she's been playing. Oh, no, that's crazy. She's been in the league for as long as she's been playing at the level that she's been playing at, even though it's not all the way consistent every year. But still, she's still one of the ones for real. She showed that last night. We got to respect greatness while we still have it, bro. We got to, we got to. Diana was getting Diana be getting this shit up. So, so oh, she's you, played you look at she's only huh? she, she's only played twenty five more games than Tina Thompson, who is second, right? She's played nine less minutes. Tina Thompson played sixteen thousand eighty nine minutes. Mm-hmm. Diana Rossi obviously she's played nine less, so sixteen thousand eighty. She is Tina Thompson scored. 7,488 points. Dinah Rossi in only 25 more games has 99,082. Wait, not 99,000. I mean, not, oh, oh, so, 9, 9,900. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm bugging. I'm bugging, I'm bugging. I said it in the huh? 9,982. But in those 25 more games, obviously her, her shots are a little different. She shot a thousand more shots in only in, in nine less minutes played in games, which is crazy. She shot 3,700 threes to Tina Thompson's 2019. So that's probably a, a, a part of it. Like I said, she's, she's made 1,300 threes and Tina Thompson only made 748. But that, that's just kind of wild. She's only played nine less minutes. Played twenty five more games. And she's damn near three thousand points ever. Um, but yeah, man, DT, one of the best players ever. Um, you cannot dispute it. Um, and it, people, you know, people been trying to you know throw shade on her, throw dirt on her name the last couple of years. But I mean, when you really look at you know the best players of all time, you cannot. Leave her off. You cannot. When it comes to, um, you know, influential players, you can't. You can't talk about the WNBA without talking about Diana Taurasi. About to say, every um, other player in the league's favorite player growing up is Diana Taurasi. Like Diana like, Taurasi, I remember. I say it all the time. Diana Taurasi is part of my introduction to basketball. Like that UConn team, mellow at Connecticut, not Connecticut, mellow at Syracuse. That's part of me being introduced to the sport of basketball. It's 03. I was four. That was whenever it all started for me. It was then. Yeah. I mean, growing up, like, you heard Diana Taurasi and you were like, oh, she about to go crazy. Tonight. Like, you just knew, like, it didn't matter who she was playing. It didn't matter if she was down. If her team was supposed to lose, um, I mean, she was just a different breed, whether it be at Connecticut, or in Phoenix, three WNBA championships, five Olympic gold medals, looking to go get her six. I don't necessarily agree with her being on that team, but if 
I mean, but it's hard to say no to somebody going out to get their six. Um, she's only got one MVP, which is kind of crazy, but she's got two WNBA Finals yeah. MVPs, five scoring titles, three FIBA World Cups, um, 10 All-Star Games, 14 All-WNBA teams, 10 first teams. Um, I mean, she became the first player to surpass 9,000 points. She's about to be the only player to surpass 10,000 points. Um, and she'll probably come back and play next year. Um, to be like able I to said, do what she's been doing. All Star Break of Phoenix might be her last. Yeah, I mean, to be able to, to do what she's been doing for the last going on 20 years now. I mean, she got drafted, she was the rookie of the year in 20, uh, 2004. It's now 2023. She's still giving these young kids buckets. Um, yeah. It, do a, a it, dub for it's a wild dub. to see. Do a dub, she do a I dub. Feel like, I feel like she hasn't gotten enough credit for being able to play this long and playing at a high level. Like, I agree. I feel obviously like her def- obviously her defense isn't awesome. where it used to be, but offensively, when it comes to like plus moments, like we are not re- we are not that far removed from her going crazy against the Aces and sending her team to the finals. Yeah, like, we're t- a year. A year removed from that, like one season. Almost like, two years. It was, 20, it was 2020. It was 2021. 2021. It was like we're only one season removed from that, like the past, the last season and then that season. That season yeah, that post so, like, they were down, what, 10, 12 going into the fourth quarter? I don't remember. Or, like, late, 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 late don't in the third. Man. I'm just saying, bro. I know I'm like, playing. I'm playing. I'm playing people but... saying, no, that was, that was young DT. No, DT's been doing this shit. Like, she did that shit against Seattle. Like damn near beat Seattle a couple years ago when they ended up, when they went and won the finals. Like, like she's crazy. one of the ones. She's, so, she's, she's going down as one of the best women's basketball players ever. What do they call her? The White Mamba. Yeah. Yeah. Because like for real, like when I was growing up, I saw same. when I grew up, they were one of the same. Tarasi was to- yeah. When I grew up, Diana Taurasi was Kobe to me. Like on the women's side, that was Kobe. They're one of the same, bro. That was Kobe for me. Like when I was growing up, that was Kobe. Like we played in LA. I hated her. I hated her when she was playing the Sparks in Kansas. I hated Kobe when he was playing the Heat. Like I hated Kobe when I was a kid because I was a D Wade fan. I hated that. I mean, I didn't hate Diana Taurasi because she played in Connecticut. But once she got to the league, and every time they played the Sparks, which was playoff series. In the regular season, they were they were like two of the top players in the league. So it was always like Dennis Rosser, Kenneth Parker. And they were probably the two most notable names in the league at that point. Other than, you know, I mean, obviously Tamika Chesson. Yeah. Players like Maya Moore was up there. But like from like from like 2008 to like 2011, Candace and Diana Taurasi was like one of them two. You just flip a coin. Um, and then obviously Maya Moore got in there and put her name in the hat. Yeah, other players would come in and put their name in head, but Diana Rossi is really one of the players that took this league to another level. And I, I, I know people know that, but I don't think enough people have given her her flowers for that. So yeah. I want to say shout out to Diana Rossi for everything she has done for the game of basketball, the game of women's basketball. Um, just incredible basketball player, legend. Um, one of the most clutch players, athletes. One of the most clutch athletes you'll ever see, for sure. Like, like, just the numbers back it up, the highlights back it up. Like, Diana Taurasi is one of the ones, like one of the greatest players of all time. It's not, not a debate. Not a debate. No. Not a debate. And like, obviously, that like, people are like, oh, Cynthia Cooper, Cheryl Swoops. To be honest, they might have been better than her. I didn't see them play, so I'm fucking with Diana Taurasi. That's just my take on it. Word. But um, let's see. Did the league pass? Okay. Any more W um, topics? I don't know if there will actually be any trade deadline deals, but if there is, I think we need to make some. Uh, let's see. The sky may need to figure something. I, I mean, I don't think they'll do anything, but they may need to figure something out since they don't got no damn first round picks. I might try to. Make a little move, be like, "Hey, Kyle, we're doing this now. We can do this in the off season." 
and she'll come back now. She's free agent in this season, so she can go wherever the fuck she wants. Uh, so she could, or they could just shoot the belt around her, man. Um, I don't know. Nah, for sure. Like, um, no, I, I don't mean like trade her. I mean like trade, like bring someone else. In oh, I see. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, like bring someone in and be like, all right, this is just a start. Like, when we get yeah. to the off season, we can bring in more pieces. Um, like if they could have brought back Azrae, that would have been big. Yeah, um, but couldn't, they didn't do that. So she's playing well in, at, um, in LA right now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I don't think we'll see any big moves. If we do, I'll I'll be pretty Thank shocked. You. We may see like two moves. Um, I don't think we'll see anything major. Yeah. Let's see, um, and then uh, MIP. There's a couple. There's about three, probably three players that have like a real, a real case. Jordan Canada, Satu, and a lot of Smith. Um, I think Satu has a case, but. I'm one of those people that, like, if you're a top pick, you know, people are already expecting you to be that. So I feel like, I feel like Satu has always had this. She just hasn't been healthy. Uh, like, every, if you watch Satu play basketball, you know how good she is. It didn't take, it didn't take, like, fucking rocket science for her to figure that out. It took her being on the fucking court for everyone to see it and her be able to, like, go out there and get triple doubles. And, Hit threes at a high clip and rebound the ball at a high clip, bring the ball down the court, coast to coast, get a spin layup and one. Like that's been in her game. We like we've known that she could do it. She just hasn't been able to because of health. Um, for Jordan Canada, like the discourse around her the last couple of years, probably since like the Seattle championship in twenty was it eighteen? They won it. Yeah, twenty eighteen because the Mississippi won in nineteen. Yep. I would say the discourse since that because they were putting the pressure on her to be the next point guard after Sue. And Sue wasn't really trying to give that shit up anyway. Um, they've been trying to, like, oh, she hasn't really improved. You know, she still can't really shoot. She's a great defender, but she doesn't make good decisions. She's been great this year. She shot yeah. three ball out of high clip. Oh. She's run a team that has had injuries all season. Um, Opportunities, man. One of the best, one of the best defenders in the league for sure. All defensive team. Um, she's been great. Um, and then and for a player that, I mean, she got a lot of, she got a lot of, she was getting a lot of hate, and it took a while for a team to try to pick her up in the off season, which is crazy to me. But it's gonna be a lot of teams that, if she's at, if she's back on the open market. It's gonna be a lot of teams looking like, hey, do you sure you can on this one? Um, and a lot of Smith. Um, she played in Phoenix, didn't get a lot of PT. She had some seasons where she got a little bit of burn, but never anything like significant. Came in this year. Uh, I feel like she wasn't on a roster last year, and if she was, she wasn't. She wasn't. Like, she was like one of the bench warmers, one of the reserves. I don't say bench warmers, one of the reserves. Um, and to see her this year just take a leap right away as soon as the season started and has continued on that path. I feel like most improved is for a player like Alana Smith, like a player that yeah. came in the league, fought their way to stay on the team, never got a, a consistent role, but stayed on the team because they they were professionals and they were great in their role. Mm-hmm. And then when they get their opportunity, they prove everybody wrong. Big Nigel Laney type shit. Like, she yeah. got cut multiple times. Came to the dream. Or no, it was... Yeah, came to the She's dream. Like, she went with the dream, yeah. Went crazy. Most improved player. All-star. Um, Like, obviously, Alana Smith didn't make all-star team, but it wasn't... If you would have asked most WNBA fans at the beginning of the season, like, oh, what do you think Alana Smith is going to do this year? They'd be like, oh, she'll probably be a good bench player. She's been one of the best players on the Chicago Sky this year. Like, yep. like, for, like literally been one of the best players on the Chicago Sky this year. So, for me, my most improved player would be Alana Smith because of uh, the fact that it is, like, actual, like, I wouldn't say not, I don't, I'm not going to say they did actually improve, but this is, like, literal the definition of improving, um, in my opinion. I think just watching her growth and seeing her from Stanford to Phoenix and now to Chicago, it's like, okay, like, 
she probably could have done this a couple of years ago, but didn't have the opportunity or was playing playing behind players that didn't really need. Like when you're playing with DT and Brittany Griner, Scarlett Diggins, Smith, um, you know, you're you're really only needed out there to shoot the three ball. Um, so, um, yeah, that's my most improved player. But I think if Jordan Canada wins it, she absolutely deserves it. Obviously, I'm, I'll be riding for Satu if she gets it as well. So, um, just wanted to give my my little take. Since we went, we did MVP last week, we do MIP this week. Maybe we do Rookie of the Year or something like that next week. Um, but yeah, man, it's been a it's been a fun season so far. I'm I mean, well, I say so far, it's like already half the season, but it's been a fun season, and I'm ready to see what the rest of the season looks like because we still got we still got some games. So these awards are not set in stone yet at all, not even close. Um, you wanted to talk about people World Cup. One thing, one one more thing before we switch it up. Did see an article? I didn't get to read it, but I did see an article about Kennedy Carter. Uh, oh about, yeah, yeah. Need her back. About how she, you know, she's been dealing with, you know, just time off, time off of me and from being in the league. Um, but love to see her be back. You know, um, love to see her. I guess redemption arc. How, you know, she inserts herself back into the league. Whether that's you know playing AU and coming back, playing overseas, coming back. Playing in this new league and coming back, like we gonna have, we gonna see her somewhere before she gets back into the league. So I just it matters seeing her, seeing where or what it is. Um, Taya Cooper also said that she's trying to return. She said she's gonna be playing back for somebody next year, and so um, hey, I love to see it. You know, both players, you know, good young young players, while they were in the league. Uh, didn't really find their footing, but you know, it just I don't know. This is if we had more teams, they'd be on a roster. Both of them would. What, sir? Both of them would. I said both of them would. I did say both of them boy. No, man. <laughs> oh, both man. Of them boys. It definitely sounds you said both of them boys. Yeah. <laughs> we should listen, listen. I'm without a mic, so um well without a plug in mic. I mean I got a mic on my laptop, obviously, but yeah, sound quality that's taking a hit. But once we get better sound quality and I get better enunciation, we be straight. <laughs> but yeah, no, let's go. We can change this people work up. People work up is starting soon. Uh, I believe it starts in what two weeks or next week, whatever. Yeah, the uh, it's the twenty. I mean, I just think the twenty fifth. I think. Okay, but yeah, I know the the players are arriving. It's not at time. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it. I know I I slandered it at first, being a casual and trying to slander the team, but me, but I told myself, Bryce, come on now, you know ball, you know this is a solid team, and so. I looked at the team. I'm like, okay, I'm excited to see the team. So, my guys, Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, doing their thing. But you, uh, no, 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 you're not biased. But then the first two players you named on the squad, stop playing with me, bro. Stop what me. shirt do I have on, sir? So what you said earlier in the in the show was fucking bullshit. You tell me. Oh no, I, I said I push agendas, but with reason now. That wasn't with reason. I just said, yo, those are the first two players that popped up in my mind. Well, you yeah, wanted me to name the first two. You want me to name the two Nick players that are on the squad? No, the best two players on the team. You name them first. All right, the best two players on the team. Who are the best two players on this team? Best oh, two players on this team will probably be Ant Edwards and Brandon Ingram. Those will be my picks. That's what I have. Hallie's in there for sure. You said who? Oh, yeah, Tyrese, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he for sure got a conversation. He he, he sure got a conversation. But yeah, no, I'm definitely gonna be excited. I'm excited to see my boys. All right, the twins, Cam, Mikel. Um, then you got, you know, the Nick boys, got Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart. Villanova. 
Or another, they're going to try and get Mikel to come across the bridge. He can be like, no. <laughs> Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I mean, they got Dante. I'd rather, play, I'd rather play in Madison Square Garden every night. Stop it. Don't even do that. You know you'd rather I play. I would play Madison either or, man. It's, in, it's New York. It's New York. I, I'd rather play. If you had a choice, if you had a choice, you're choosing Madison Square Garden. If I had a choice, I'm choosing Barclays. You're bugging. No. You're bugging. I'm not gonna be the Knicks. Yeah, I tried crazy. that on two K once. I tried it on two K once, and I got tired. And I was like, gave me to the net, to the Nets. Well, no, because this is when they had Kyrie, and I was a point guard. So I was like, you're you know, crazy. I'm gonna go play for the Knicks. They need help. You're crazy. But playing at Madison Square Garden is like the, the big, no, the Madison best Square Garden is legendary. I've been there a couple of times for a couple of games. It's definitely a legendary environment, and it would be an honor to play there. Bro, you playing the game, and they got that Oregon yeah. going. Stop it, bro. Stop it. There ain't nothing like that, bro. That and the Staples Center. I ain't calling that shit the other one. The Staples Center shit. Yeah, and it's probably, probably about to get renamed anyway because Crypto.com is, like, going down, so. Literally. They're probably going to they probably gonna name it the X Arena. Elon going to buy it. They're probably going to name it the X Arena. <laughs> yeah, that joint Doge Arena. That's not for you. That's for, that's for I know. I know. That's, I know that's for. But. No, I am interested to see how they play. I'm interested to see how other teams play. Toronto team looking tough. Not Toronto. Canada team. Team Canada looking tough. Got Shea. Got Jamal. Got, I'm trying to think of who else. Shea, Jamal, Nikel. Um, okay. That's a new pool. I said it. I said it right. <laughs> I mean, it's Mikhail, but Mikhail. I said Nikel. I was surprised that you even said his name. Uh, who else? Corey Joseph. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, Lou Dort. There you go. Uh, I'm I'm really trying my hardest to remember the team off off top. Um, I don't think Wiggins was playing in it. Mm-hmm. Although that would have been crazy if they had Wiggins on the squad. That would have been unfair. Uh, I think Kelly Olynyk is playing. If I'm correct. Somebody prominent you missing. Uh, who am I missing? Uh, don't cheat. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Uh, I said Lou Dort. The team that he played for is probably behind you somewhere. Behind me somewhere. He once played for. He does not currently play for. Them, but they're probably for somewhere. The Lakers or the Thunder or the Bulls. No. No. The Nets. No. College, UConn. No, what it's got to be on your. They got to be on your wall somewhere. What other college is behind me? Only college behind me. They, they may not be on that wall, but they got to be on one of your walls somewhere. There ain't no way you ain't got them in there. I'm tripping, bro. You are right now. That's crazy. I he's said got teammates. Ball. He's got teammates on on America, on uh, on the USA team. What college you go to? Just, just tell me that. What college you go to? If I tell you it, you're gonna get it right away. I what said, college? What I college said, should be on your wall? What would Duke players from Canada? Oh, oh, RJ! RJ! <laughs> what Duke players from Canada? Oh, <laughs> uh, I forget about Maple Mamba. Or no, that's not that's not Maple Mamba. Maple Mamba. No, that was in, that was in, in Maple Jordan, not Maple Mamba. Maple, Maple okay. That man forgot about damn RJ Barrett, bro. I forgot about RJ Barrett. You don't got you don't got Duke on your wall. You don't got nothing Duke on your wall. I had a jersey, but I took it down recently. I used to have a poster somewhere too. Ain't there Jason Tatum? No, I don't have that. Oh no, Jason Tatum talking on Bronx. That'd be tough. I had that, but I, I don't know. I, I I had Zion up here. But now it's another Jordan photo. I, I flipped it around. Zion was out here. Wow. 
that nigga. Mafia. No, no. We about you, to get Cooper did Flag you say, Did you say? We about to get Cooper Flag stack. soon. We about to get Cooper Flag. That boy visited, dude. We about to get you, cool. You missed some players on uh, on Canada. Did you say O'Shea Brissett? Huh? Did you say O'Shea Brissett? No. Do you remember Melvin Egem? No. He played for Iowa State. He's number three. He had a high top eight. He's not in the league now. I don't, even, I don't even know if he ever played in the league. But, uh, Dwight Powell. I see Dwight Powell. I'm looking at the uh, squad now. Kevin Pangos. Oh, uh, what's gonna call it? Uh, uh, Dylan Brooks. I was about to, I was about to quiz you on that nigga. Oh, they got Zach. Say, I was, yeah, I was gonna say that the best uh free agent signing this this off season. Let's see if you if you would say Dylan Brooks. <laughs> a word, but yeah, it should be exciting, man. It should be, it should be fun. Uh, they're playing then, in the Philippines, right? Have you seen? Have you seen Luca, bro? Luca gonna cut. Luca, Luca gonna cut. Giannis gonna cut. Is Jokic playing? No, Jovic is though. Jovic, Jovic is playing. Okay. Yes, sir. Oh, well, we need to see Jovic and Jokic. Damn, Giannis gonna cut. Damn. It's a lot of good know. players playing. I, I'm hey, I'm looking forward Cat's to playing for Dominican. I gotta, I gotta get the schedule. Hopefully, it's Cat schedule and Al Horford. What's this? Cat, Cat Al Horford, and somebody else playing for Dominican Republic. Mm. I know Jordan Clarkson playing for Philippines. Oh, Kyle mm. Anderson playing for China. All the time I thought he was light skinned. <laughs> I see that notification. I said, how? (laughs) (laughs) This whole time he had Chinese in his family. Man, I thought that boy was, I thought he was one of us, man. Yeah, you say that like he still can't be part one of us, bro. Is Naomi and Saka not one of us? Hmm? Is Naomi Osaka not one of us? Oh no, she is. Oh, okay, but she don't. She don't represent Haiti or America. She represents Japan. Yeah. No, so yeah. That, yeah. Naomi's definitely. What, what you mean? What you mean, Kyle Anderson not one of us? You don't know who his mom or his daddy is. One of them Chinese. One of them be black. No, he he has no black in his family. I looked it up because <laughs> I was looking. <laughs> I was How do you get white? Huh? How do you get light skin in? Ain't no way, bro. <laughs> Ain't no way, bro. I don't know, yeah. man. I know he's not like I, I don't. I don't know what Kyle Anderson is, dog. Speaking of Kyle Anderson, yeah. him, and, um, Anthony Edwards switched jersey numbers. Say so Anthony Edwards is wearing number five now. Back to which wearing you, five. He like wore in high school, school and college. School and college, which I think is tough. It is kind of tough. Like I can't. He was, lie. Like, he was like, yeah, I had an old team. I forgot what the teammate name was, but he's like, yeah, he was wearing five. And he ain't let me get oh, it. He's, he's a USA born NBA player. Yeah, he's or from US here. born. He's from here, but he got Chinese lineage. Like, oh, his name is Lai Kai Lai Kair? Something like that. Well, I think that's his Chinese name. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, I saw he's like do his grandmother or grandfather. It's a grandparent that is the connection to him being Chinese. So then, mom or dad got to be there. So, Suzanne I was, I was, up. I was like, so he's not black, like, at all? There's no way. I'm, I'm about no, to. There's just people that I've seen that I thought were black. That okay, aren't. mom mom is, mom is Chinese. Dad. His name Kyle Anderson. He got to be. <laughs> he gotta be <laughs> that man said he gotta be some type of American. He gotta be. Bro, you see his hair? That's nigga hair. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so he's oh, he, he 
He's Jamaican descent. Jamaican oh, that's, the NBA star. That's one of, that's one of my listen. That's one, that's one of my. Huh? It said Jamaican descent NBA star. I don't know about star. But NBA star Kyle Anderson meets long lost. You're hell for that, bro. You didn't have to do that. Hey, that makes, I don't know what star. Say what your got arrested, and the headline was like former NBA star, and everybody in the replies was like star. <laughs> Shout out, to, shout, shout out to Sebastian Self here, one, one of New York's best. But, you know, this is an article five years ago. It says, Jamaican descent NBA star Kyle Anderson meets long-lost Chinese family, rediscovers heritage. So he really just found out he's Chinese, like, not too long ago. Mm. He said, finally, well, finally, Anderson, finally, maternal man. grandmother, and moved to the United States from Jamaica. Yeah, he gotta be. Come on now. He one of us. Like it's I I'm not reading all this, but it seems like bro is a mixture of things. Well, yeah. That's kind of how you become mixed. All right, so his mom's parents. Oh People are not gonna believe us when we say great grandfather that. came from China and married a Jamaican woman. They were parents to Anderson's maternal grandmother and moved to the United States from Jamaica. So bro, like a quarter Chinese, if that. Mm-hmm. Bro's great grandfather is Chinese that he just discovered five years ago is Chinese. But if you went over and play for Mexico. Avina Westbrook. Oh, Avina. She's Mexican. Avina Westbrook? She's black and Mexican, yes. Yes, she posted on her IG story about, like, how it was unfair that she, you know, she was supposed to get, like, introduced that day, but I somebody, FIBA or something, declared that she wasn't able to play for some odd reason. Damn, that's crazy. I was like, damn. It just came like on the morning that they were of her press conference announcing that she was gonna be on the Mexican national team. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. I don't know. Maybe at two hours, so another two hours. Huh? I feel like we're at two hours, so it's the number no two. Way. No, we started at like seven forty or something like that. Maybe close to eight o'clock, but no, nah, it was that. De- it was definitely close to like eight fifteen. Yeah, we been talking for a little bit. I know because yeah. I know we were talking for a little bit. I know, I know it's getting close to two hours. I remember it was like I checked the watch at eight or nine. Yeah, eight or nine to make sure we didn't even do pick them. No kidding. All right, pick him real quick because I put Wingstorm and that game is on in like a couple of minutes. <laughs> All right, so, I I posted a story right before we started and it still says one hour ago. It's not two hours ago. Okay, so we still in one hour. We still in the, we still in the two hours. All right, pick him real quick. All right, Wingstorm, Wings. Hold on, damn. Yeah, yeah. Let me get, let me get to my, to my pick him page. Jeez. Okay. God, oh yeah, last week I forgot we we talked about this before, off air. Last week went what nine and six? Yeah, he went nine and six. I went ten and five. Nine and six. He went ten and five. Got a plethora of games. We we'll finished next week, so we got. No, what's that picture? Oh, I am at eighty five forty one. Oh, eighty four and forty two. Yeah, yeah. Right Being crazy. All right, so I'm using, I'm using my brain. It's pretty fucked that. Nah, the, the sun, the links, the links is what messes both of them. Or they won two games last week. And the fever losing to the storm. Like, come or on, did they win three games last week? No, they they beat the Liberty and then they beat the Sun. And then and they, they the won after that, didn't they? No, nah, the Sun beat them. After that. I need I need her to finish that damn article, bro. Anyways, um. Anyways, um, all right. So, Wingstorm, Wings, Wings. All right, Dream Mercury, Dream. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, actually. DT going for 10,000? Make sure you get that first half in the dream. We'll be like, we ain't here for that. We're going to spoil the party. Just like how LeBron, mm -hmm. just like how LeBron mm -hmm. lost his game that he got the Bro, for. You know what I've noticed? Kelsey don't get no shots from Diana's roster too. Yeah. Bro, I needed her to get Sophie anything last night. Sophie better look Anything quiet, last guys. night. Eight fantasy points. I cannot believe that shit, bro. You got Sophie coming with a fantasy team? Nigga, don't do that. Don't. <laughs> What's your team called? The J-Way Sixers? Let me stop. We never get no. her. <laughs> no, it's it's one league. It's one league where like the waiver wire pickups, like Lee Mong. I love Lee Mong. It's like Lee Mong. Like niggas that play like six minutes a game, already not playing at all. <laughs> That's the waiver wire. Yeah, like, it's, it's ugly. Rough, it's bro. ugly. It's ugly for it's me. It's rough, bro. It's rough, bro. I'll be looking at that. I'll be like, man, let me see what I can pick up. It's like. Damn, man, I got to lose again this week. <laughs> and the thing that bothers me is they have everyone as a fucking guard. Like, yeah. some of these players can be named a four. Like, Sophie, can, Sophie plays a three. Why is she not a four? You have, like, guard forward positions instead of people that are, like, Something. Forward. Yeah. Because you only have – you have the three forward center spot. Yeah. But there's only, like, two forwards in the whole league. Stupid. Shit, you don't win this. Shit, you don't win this. Anyways, you got seventeen guards. Oh, uh, so you got Mercury. You're the only one that play. No, I got the dream over Mercury. Oh, dream. Okay, Sun Fever. I got Sun. Yeah. All right, Sparks misses. I got Sparks. Sparks misses. Sky Wings. Wings. Ooh. Ooh. Brandon Avery. Oh yeah. Yeah. Give me the sky. Okay. The wings are due. The wings are due to lose a game like that. Yeah. And they That's don't lose tonight. Happened. They'll lose that game. Yeah. Uh, and you got Liberty Links, Liberty. Liberty, Liberty no way, Links. No way they lose. Liberty. No way they lose to them again. No. Uh, Storm Mercury, Mercury. Hmm. I'll go Mercury. Fever Dream, Dream. Aces Liberty in the Clays, Aces. I feel like this might be the make or break for the week. Yeah. I want to do it. Because if we both wrong, then you don't get the win. But if I get it right, that can put me back ahead of you in the standings. Go, go against me. <laughs> all right, fuck okay, it. I'll take the liberty. <laughs> all right. Uh, uh, Sparks miss six. Man, the Aces only play that one game. No, they, they got another line. I'm at the switch. They got no, another game before that. Oh, before that. Yeah. I'm saying before that because the Lynx, the Liberty play the Lynx. The Aces don't have a game before that day or this week. Yeah. Mm. That sounds like that sounds like they're getting a lot of rest. It sounds like bullshit to me. No, me too. Who else? Who'd you say after that? Uh, Sparks, Mystics, Mystics. They play twice. Oh no! I, I, I my fault. I, I thought it was the next game after the Liberty. After oh no! The Liberty, yeah, they play twice. That is the second game this week. Yeah, that's the second time. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I got. Uh, I'll go Sparks second time. Ah. Uh, I'll go Mystics again. Okay. Uh, Sky Wings. They played for a second time in a week, too. Sky. Wings. All right. And you got Sunstorm. I got Sun. Hmm. Sparks Fever. Fever. Sparks. Link Sky. Lynx. Sky. Aces Lynx. Aces. Aces. Mystics Mercury, Mystics. You said Mystics Mercury? Yeah. Mm. No way to go 3 9 next week. Mystics. 
Word. Word. Well, thank you guys for tuning into episode 100. I can say I dropped 100. That's crazy. I dropped 100, and it's been documented. We don't know what Wilson hunted at. We just, hey, we just got the picture. Ain't no, I don't know if that's enough proof that Will dropped the hundred. It was that picture, but we hate hunted. We got a, we got our hundred. This document, well done. She say, she say the real hundred point game is free. Well, it is on the street, street ball. Well, it was a was so it wasn't street it's crazy. Then Peyton it's Pritchard, 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 20 then Peyton Pritchard dropped 100 in Pro Am. Uh, and then the guy from um, Marjan, I don't know how to say his last name. Oh, champ. champ. Okay, that's why that boy dropped what 83. Me in pro am crossover and ended it with a damn windmill dunk. Super flag out here busting Bradley Bill's ass. Hello, hey. Put Cooper flag on the Nuggets right now. No, no, the Nuggets. No, we go to Nets. <laughs> nah, he 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 won't fit the culture. What you mean he won't fit the culture? Brooklyn, no, him in Brooklyn, bro. Can we have a brownstone in Brooklyn chilling? And then be and, and, and whoever drill rappers music video same week. <laughs> oh, you you must you must think about somebody else. That's crazy. I'm just saying, like Cooper Flag got that swagger to him, low key. He got that drill rap swagger to him. Stop it. I would say the drill rap swagger. I, I made I might have took it too far. Maybe because I said Brooklyn. You, you, know, you definitely right? took it too far. But but he might go to the bodega. Yeah, he'll go to might bodega. Get him, might get him a chopped cheese. They get a cheese for breakfast, chopped cheese for. But that's yeah. about it. I uh, say mm-hmm. hey, he'll he'll be in what Fort Greene or whatever the nice part of Brooklyn. Nah, bro, nah, but for real, he uh-huh. played with Denver. I mean, Yoke would be so crazy. Man, no. What if you go to Boston? I wish mean, it's a far fetch because Boston would probably be good by the time. But that's <laughs> it, right? Yeah, <laughs> like, like like a glove. Yo, like, they be saying the N word to him. Yeah, I'm in the show right there, bro. I'm in the show right there. Thank you guys for tuning in to that episode of the Lean Head Bad Podcast. Get that <laughs> off my court right now. <laughs> I'm glad I said the end of the show and not the beginning. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, we'll see you guys next week. Get that off my court right now. He doesn't belong here. It's not one of us. We're an ally. Cooper Flag. Let me stop. That 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 might be crazy. What if what if something comes out like down the line and I said that? No, why somebody say? Why somebody say? Now nah, he's playing with too much confidence. Yeah, I was about to say tweet. somebody. Listen, somebody made a tweet. Was like he um, <laughs> he's like I'm not gonna say who he play like, but y'all know. <laughs> Nah, I'm talking about the people that was like, we got like his old tweet. He played with too much confidence. Yeah. He got too much swag. I got reason on tweet. I'm like, man, y'all are crazy, bro. He probably listened listen to Jack Harlow before games. I'm surprised they didn't do that with Bobby Alta. Look at her old tweet. See, it's something coming out. Man, ain't nobody worried about her old tweets, dog. That gave me major hater energy just now. I'm just saying, no, I'm saying Ain't nobody worry about her old tweet, dog. I'm just saying, in the, no, I'm saying that she, I, I I, wouldn't think that she would be on that type of timing. She doesn't, she doesn't give that, is what I'm saying. It wasn't on a hater, no. Her content is cool, I like it, it's funny, but I doubt that she out here on tweet. Hey, man, she, um, she, she was laughing with Lil Yachty for this thing. Yadi's like, you can be like, what's up? Yeah. And yeah, she's I'm like, I'm not that. saying that. And but look, Yadi's smiling and laughing. He did that shit like five times during the show. I was trying to get her to say that shit. I yeah. was crying. I didn't go lie. I was like, nah, he's like, uh, you know what I'm what she not watching the work. You, you know what she needs to do for her next pod? Yeah. Is interview an uh, industry plan. 
Have you seen her stories? Like, yeah, that's post? what I was saying. That's why I said that. Because, like, you know. Listen, my you favorite got, industry, plant. industry plant. allegations on her. Interview industry plant. Who would that <laughs> don't be? Which, don't know which one, but. Who would that be? I don't know. I'm trying to think of an industry plant off the top of my head. Um, Ice Spice? No, she's not an industry plant. Why not? She's not an industry plant, bro. She she's got real talent? Planet. She's not signing anybody. She got real talent? Yes. See, that's what we in the show. <laughs> that's what we in the show. <laughs> that's, so, Ice Spice, Nicki Minaj, talent? Oh, Nicki got her beat, for sure. No, I'm saying she got that type of talent. No, not Nicki talent, but she has talent. She got she got Cardi B talent? No, I feel like she can compete with Cardi B. All right, that's disrespectful. Well, Cardi You're... B, Cardi B don't write her raps. That don't matter. Does that spice? I don't know. Maybe I mean Cardi B, her delivery on songs like she's able to blend invasion, in. of, invasion of privacy. Oh, oh, let me let me explain. Let me explain. Cardi B is able to it's to blend in, and, and and you know she's able to make a pop record, make a soft record, make a hard drill record. Like she started off with the drill stuff first, but then she became commercialized. You know, they was like, all right, now we putting this out. She had a whole record with Bad Bunny, right? A whole Spanish record with Bad Bunny. She got other records with other Spanish like people. Like she she rapping in Spanish. I, I, songs. I mean, she tap into her Dominican side, she could, maybe. I don't know. We don't know because all we see it is she bad as she knows she attend <laughs> every song. <laughs> and that's that's talent. That ain't talent. No, I'm gonna right just that in right here. Oh, <laughs> Nobody go watch this fucking episode. You lying. JK, lead us in. <laughs> JK, <laughs> lead us in. JK, hey, lead us in. No. JK, uh, lead us in. Thank y'all for tuning to the episode of the Hoodie Head Bad Podcast Show. We got a little on chat. Number. <clears throat> Keep it eight more. Appreciate y'all. One hundred. Thank <music> you.